Hey, it's Joe Glantz from the Automator, and in this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to make any window you want stay on top all the time, and you can toggle it back and forth very simple. I don't know why this isn't a built-in Windows thing, but let me show you this code. It's super simple, and let's jump into it right now. Of course, you probably want to assign a hotkey. So here I'm using Control. This is the Control Shift A. So Control Shift A is going to use the when set command and just apply it always on top. Uh, toggle, this is the default value, so that technically this could be blank, but I like having the word there. Uh, and A is going to be the last active window. So if you're not going to compile the script, you would have auto hotkey installed and then run it. So I'm going to hit Alt R. Down here is my uh, on-screen display to show you the hotkeys I'm hitting. Now let's say I wanted, for some reason, I wanted calculator to be always on top. Now notice if I click back here, it disappears, right? So we come in here. So I'm going to highlight the window, hit Control Shift A. And now, notice when I click in the studio, it's staying on top, right? So that's pretty, it's so simple, right? Why would you want to do this? Well, maybe I want to scroll. I have a really long page. I want to scroll down. Um, I want to have a window open. Now, if I want to get rid of that, I can re-highlight the program, hit Control-Shift-A. Now, when I click off of it, it disappears, right? Can't think of anything easier. This is normally going to be in my main script. However, I have it here just so you can see. I don't want to confuse you with all the, you know, my other main script that has so much to it. But this is just one line of code, right? It's, it's really, to me, that's pretty amazing that you can easily select a window, hit Control-Shift-A or whatever hotkey you want, and make it stay on top, right? So, again, super simple thing to do. If you're new to AutoHotKey, you might check out my Learn channel. Also, if you're new to AutoHotKey and you still want to borrow this, you can download AutoHotKey, install it, and then you basically would go to where this file is located, um, and you can just, so this is the make window always on top. I'm gonna right click and say compile script, uh, just right here. This is gonna make an executable, it's that simple. And then just have this launched and then you're good to go, right? The hotkeys, you know, that takes a little bit of practice. This this carrot here is the control, that plus is the shift and A. Obviously you wanna, you know, if you have a, like maybe your home key or something. If you have a key that you don't use very often, maybe you just assign one key to it if you're gonna use it very frequently. But it is a super helpful thing to be able to do. Just give it a try and let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, please like the video. It really helps me out. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. We also have a newsletter. I'll put the URL beneath me here if you want to sign up and get you know notifications weekly. We have a newsletter just saying what we've done lately and uh, just you know gives you some good updates on what's going on. So hope that helps. Have a great day. Cheers.